Hey everybody, welcome back. We're, we're in the lab right now. We're cooking up something a little bit. I mean, I'm not like a, you know, a line cook here. I'm like Heston Blumenthal. I'm not making like a, the, the perfect cheeseburger. I'm making like, you know, some food that uses liquid smoke and we rearranged all the atoms and the mo molecules into like a chiral form to what you normally see in nature and uh, and it doesn't taste very good in a plate is like five hundred dollars okay that's what we're, I'm, I'm saying we're making some we're making some tyler's bs let's put it that way we got very lucky to get a draw there sometimes it's fun to make some bs you know we already we, we made our dub our bacon cheeseburgers this week we did well now we got a little extra time in the in the cooker we can afford to get a little a little spicy with it, you know? We could afford to be like, hey, instead of french fries, we're gonna serve you with a, a side of jicama or something like that. I was saying it on stream, I had the, uh, when we were in Disneyland, like two weeks ago, I had jicama for the first time. My personal opinion on jicama is that if you haven't had it, you are missing out. Very unique vegetable. Kinda tastes like an Asian pear. I have no idea its nutritional content. It tastes like something, though, that, like, that flavor shouldn't exist in nature. Not in a bad way, actually in, like, a great way. Give me some stats. Thank you. I am going to bet on my opponent running a goose, so I'm going to put my weakest unit at the front. Like, how could nature make something so juicy and crispy and it's got a little... I guess they've always, nature made a radish, so, like, fair enough. This one goes out to nature. Nature did a lot of good work. I guess technically, nature made pretty much everything. <laughs> I guess it, nature made man, and then man made some stuff, so all man-made stuff is also made by nature. At least we're not getting into that, okay? 1311 Ladybug. Like, they're, they're out here making enemies. It's a very, very strong team. I would love to see a level 3 fish. I think the... Getting the stat bonus from a level three fish could do some great work for us in the in the mid game. I mean this. That's a level three fish. I think I would sell. I don't. I I genuinely don't care uh, where our money is here. Like if if we go four squatted, I would live with that. And it is going to be four squatted. Four squatted for one round to get these kind of stats on a camel with a goose on our squad helping us out. Absolutely. And next, we'll keep the cricket around because next round we'll want the penguin to buff two units. This makes sense to me. Now, the fish is kind of tapped out. That's what the penguin is for, is to keep it scaling. I think we should outscale, like, the vast majority of teams we're going up against right now. Now, that doesn't mean we're destined to win. A butt! <laughs> it's a good start. Let's put it that way. Go here. You can roll once. That level is there for next time. Um, I'm sorry to say. You know what? I'm not sorry to say. Buy me a goose so that the penguin still gives two buffs. And then I was going to take a dolphin. But I, I would rather just like shove an anteater in here. And then it, it kind of works better with our squad. The goose can take the buff that the cricket was previously getting. They're both probably like equally useless in the late game without stats anyway. So I think it's a pretty... It's a lateral move that allows us to fit an anteater on the squad a little early. Now, is it going to matter? It is... Well, it's still a very, very strong team. They are going to beat us. Holy cow, that's a strong team. I thought we were looking pretty good, honestly. Give me this. Freeze me this. I would definitely say you you roll. Level 2 camel. It just doesn't seem like what I'm... Doesn't seem like what I'm gunning for here. You know what it seems like I'm gunning for? This might be idiotic. <laughs> We're betting the whole farm on scaling two units. It's reasonably fast scaling, and we've got spots on the team that are open for, you know, better units later. Like, it I'm just looking at their squad, and I'm like, holy cow, man, a poodle would really hit the spot for us. Oh, no, wait a minute, it's completely fine, okay. 
Like to level up a penguin and then put a poodle in the, in the back spot, that would be very nice. Do it, do it, do it. If we have to run a deer, we can run a deer. What do you got for scorpion? I would, I would run a scorpion any day of the week right now. Means I can also set it up like this. Please, no snipers and no deer. They got their own scorpion. Hang on, the math is gonna work out like perfectly for me. That's just not, like their name is owned badly, so I don't feel good about this. But like your scorpion was just not in the right position for the team you went up against. But against another team, that could have killed for all we know. Like I'm not, I'm not mad at you. I definitely think you need a green pepper and then move up a little bit. You get sold and we need to add another scaler and the other scaler will be a moose. We'll freeze you, freeze you. Not that interested in the goose going one level up, but freeze me. With three life remaining, just buy the penguin. I'll accept my 1-1 one, one buff. I don't want to pay the opportunity cost of, of losing out on uh, the penguin because it would be on Frozen once we reach the next round. Nobody expects the scorpion this week, man. It's, go it's going crazy. Now, big scorpion, maybe not so much, and now I realize we just draw, uh, drew there anyway, so I shouldn't have been so cocky, but I don't want the goose. I wouldn't mind, like, some good foods. That's a good one. I don't really want anybody to move to the back when the, if they're in the front once, but I also don't think we're doing much better than three. Okay, I'll freeze you at four and end my turn. I know we got one gold remaining, but there's there's just no point to the reroll because we won't have the money to purchase the thing. And if we freeze it, it unfreezes next time anyway. It might be good to take a um, to basically just sack a turn for buying or for for buffing from the moose in order to get the moose leveled up. Like, unless we get chocolate, it's really hard to freeze the units you want to freeze and also level a moose. And we have not been getting chocolate. I'm willing to roll for chocolate. I'm, I'm, really, I'm willing to put a green pepper on you. I do think there is a green pepper difference here. I'm, I, I hate to have the chocolate there. We might as well just send it, I guess. Moose is annoying to use because it, when you use the moose properly to maximize for the moose buff, you don't even want to know the kinds of comments I get. Hey, idiot, you stupid moron. <laughs> You left your turn with gold wide open. You, why are you freezing things in this situation? Like, it's just... People, people will go off on you for it. I'll freeze that. But, like, we... Give me some chocolate. I, I think we're doing the right thing. It looks like we're playing insanely badly. But I think we're doing the right thing. We're not getting the results that we want from the shop, but we're, we are getting the results that we want, like... Holy cow, that's a big lad. We're getting the results we want from the game itself, so I, I would say that that means we're doing something right. But it would be really nice to get this moose to level 2, because... It's annoying me. <laughs> Pay it forward with the avocados, they're like free rolls. Take some of that, I'll freeze a microbe. One moose or one chocolate? Like, I'm not, I'm not asking for that much. I'll just take another avocado and pay it forward. We'll deal with a 3-3 buff. And at this point, you would have expected another moose, even though we got a lot of shop frozen, another moose or, like, a readily available chocolate. You would have expected it by now. Okay, we're just not going to beat um, a big jellyfish team with, like, good scaling. It's just, that's, you, we can't even be mad about that one. Freeze me, freeze me, freeze me, freeze me. You got me thinking that maybe we pivot to a poodle or something like that, but I'm... At some point, with all the money that we have available, you would think we'd get some chocolate or, at the very least, something useful for us, but apparently that's not possible. Now, I was just going to say, now that roll gives us chocolate, which is beautiful. Um, we could sell you and, and level the moose up once, but that's just... It's, it's bad business. We should just freeze you there. So what do we get? We, we spent essentially 11 gold on plus three, plus three, and then we got, um, oh my God, that's so unfortunate for you. You know, I'm not gonna complain about being unlucky in the shop anymore. Hey, free wins for NL, thank you, <laughs> appreciate that. Greatest stream sniper in history. Can I get some, some frickin' chocolate? Or a moose? 
Thank you. That, that's literally, I, I, even though I'm only getting a 1 1 buff, I'm not going to complain anymore. You get, thank you so much for your, the benevolent bounty you've given me. Seven turns later than it should have come out. This one was. We lost. It was surprisingly close. I need another one. I know I said I wouldn't ask for anything ever again. We need another one immediately. <laughs> sure. Sure. Or chocolate. We'll give you the buff. Okay. Thank you so much for the chocolate. We are going to lose access to the penguin here. But like, for us to get to 10, the most likely path for us in foresight was the level 2 moose. In hindsight, it didn't do enough. All my equipment is broken. That's that's all she wrote. I still think that, I mean, I, I try not to play this card too much. If anything, I think when a shops are good for us, I, I try to call it out, I try to recognize that it's like life, you know? You can do things in life to maximize your odds of succeeding or failing, but there's a large, especially depending on the industry, there's more or less some luck involved in in becoming successful, I think. I say that as a person who's moderately successful in literally one industry, so I guess I shouldn't act like I'm an authoritative source. But like I did some things right, and then also I, one day I was like, oh, this new game is coming out tomorrow called The Binding of Isaac. Like I'll, I'll play that. And then the, the rest is uh, history, you know? It's, it's, there's some right place, right time. So I try to acknowledge the role that luck can play when I get good luck, and then all I ask in return is that when I say that something is bad luck, you at least hear me out. You don't have to agree with me, but at least hear me out. And I, I think that not getting the moose to level two quickly was bad luck, even with the, you know, having the shop so frozen. Buff me? I need a level. It, 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 you know what, this is not that bad. We may lose this round, but getting a jellyfish early is really valuable either way. And for now, honestly, I would just buy... Let's just buy that. I know it's a weird position for it. I don't want to put it on the goose because the goose is the most likely unit to be sold right now just because it's not going to get a level. Uh, it's not likely to get a level as quickly as our other units. So I put it on a ladybug. Fine. That was not unexpected, but I think we got a good... We put our first foot on the staircase. Now we're going to try to rise. We'll keep the ladybug. I'll sell the goose and put a dolphin out there. I'll, I'll freeze you. Okay, I'll take my level. I do like a camel. Um, it just sort of doesn't really fit what we got going on right now. I do like the economy of meat. It's a good three gold spend on a unit that we think we'll pivot off of later. Not a big deal. No, never mind. Actually, a huge problem. <laughs> if my dolphin was in the front, we draw that one. Note to self. Be smarter. Place me. Um, dude, we, we need the jellyfish. Thank you so much. We need another... Okay, okay, I was asking for a little too much. I understand. Let's get the jellyfish statted up here. And maybe, like, well, I, I probably should not have paid three gold for what essentially amounts to a 1-1 one, one on the possum, but I thought, I, and I still think, I guess. I, I didn't just think. I still think that maybe there's a chance for a, a level in its future. Our team looks middling, but that's not, like, a, it's not a death sentence necessarily. Interesting. Um, I don't, I even, ugh, the crab could give us a level, but that's more what I'm looking for. <laughs> um, sell me. I just think the dolphin has more long term success, and we want this out here for sure. Who, this is a squad. It would not be hard to add a llama to this squad. And then subtract a clownfish and just add another jellyfish. And I, I wouldn't mind getting the dolphin out of here, but I also wouldn't mind keeping the dolphin. If they want to give me a uh, want to give me a level two dolphin to help our jellyfish get a pineapple on it, you never know. 
it's a win. Now that is surprising. Level two uh, llama, most important thing by far. Still nice, still nice. I do think part of what we got going on right now is like, just don't lose rounds. I don't have complete control over this, <laughs> by the way, but just don't lose too many rounds until chocolate comes out. If we can do that, then the chocolate should subsidize like the rest of our our trip to the top. But we did, we we're not at chocolate yet, so we gotta get a little lucky. We could buy a two cost apple there. Not gonna take a penguin, of course. A, a giraffe for the level. Moving it back. I would honestly say selling a moose, and I would be content with a with a two two buff. That's fine. I would honestly just freeze me right there. So I know you're like, please don't go back to the moose. I'm telling you, the moose, the moose is good. The moose is good. Don't take it out on the moose, okay? It's not all the moose's fault. Look at the moose just won us that game as long as you don't look at any of our other animals or the situation that led us there. And look, we've even got another one immediately. It seems to me we probably won't. Give me chocolate. Just give me chocolate on the reroll. Oh, you piece of junk. Seems to me we, we probably won't get a level two llama as, as quickly as I hoped for. We're on what? Tier, tier five stuff just dropped? This, t this squad is going to ruin me, I think. Oh, it was actually way closer than I thought it was going to be, but we need levels on this one. This is not a drill. Not the right unit to buff, but I appreciate your, your chutzpah. No thanks. Definitely a big one. I think we've, we freeze. It's all about chocolate at this point. Roll me. That's not chocolate, you piece of crap. Um, it's a good buff, though. I would, if, if it wasn't chocolate, uh, I, I'm just going to freeze it right there. If it wasn't chocolate for the moose, which would also really help our jellyfish, we really needed like a green pepper on jellyfish and a green pepper on llama. We're just like, the, the run is so brittle. Oh, you critted, you piece of junk. Never, I'm just mad. But like that squad, actually, it had, it had legs. It just, it just needed a little help. And instead, everybody, as soon as they saw it, rather than help, you know what they did? They said, hey, look at that run that needs a little bit of help. How embarrassing that it needs help. Puh, they, that's, I'm pantomiming. They spat on that run when it was in the street. I pulled them to the side and said, how would you feel if you ever needed help? And somebody treated you like that. They said, don't worry about it. I'm never gonna need help. You know what? Guess who I saw? Dying on the side of the road, not but two days later. And I just looked at them. They said, please, please help me. Call the ambulance. Give me a drink of water. You know what I said to them? I said, you should have thought of that before you didn't give me a moose or a chocolate to take my moose to level two, which would have given me enough stats to stabilize that run. And then it was a guaranteed 10 piece. Really makes you think. Anyway, speaking of things that make you think, it's the exact same run all over again. We're at full HP. It's round three. Take an apple. Maybe it's not going to go down like that this time. You know what? Because we, we gave you that cautionary tale. So I know you're going to hook me up on this one. I know we, we can rely on each other. I know we can rely on the old man's money. We can rely on the old man's money. You're a rich jellyfish and you don't because you know you don't. Anyway. Sorry, I forgot the words for a little bit there. Go ahead. It's great when you level up, you get an animal you don't want because it saves you a lot of money. Um... For the interim period, I'm going to give our jellyfish some meat. It's the only unit that I'm confident is sticking around. And just organize the squad like strong as the weakest. It's just in when you don't know what kind of teams you're going up against right now, it tends to have the highest success rate, I think. Good. Remember, winning early is, they count the same as winning late. 
buy me. Give me a 2-2 buff. Honestly, freeze two bears just because it's an easy jellyfish level. I would sell our otter and, and run two bears out there. We already got a level out of our otter. The bear has better base stats. The cue that being the last time we ever see a bear ever again. <laughs> or a jellyfish, apparently. We really, like a level one jellyfish needs too much help. We're, we're not going to get there unless we get a... Uh, Oh, the Otter's Revenge. We're not going to get there unless we get that level 2 jellyfish. And it has to happen before chocolate. Ideally, it would happen before crows could even show up. Okay, now I've learned the error of my ways. But we got to take levels where they stand. I'm starting to notice that these all look uh, pretty similar. All these, these past few runs all look relatively similar, huh? Sell me. That's basically what you would have gotten from the level up anyway. Place me a penguin. It's just a just a good scaler as is. I don't see the goose going with us long term. All these level ups, it just hurts knowing that if we had gotten more jellyfish, we would be have like double the stats on our jellyfish right now. But you know that's you, you gotta play the run you got, not the run you got in your head. I can't believe we won that. But then, at the same token, I can't believe that it was so hard to win that. <laughs> I'm gonna sell the bear. No, because the bear's getting the stats. I gotta, I gotta sell the possum. You know what? There is a... Whoo. <laughs> there is something to this. I have three gold remaining. There's something to this. Level level three bear and then live long enough for a grizzly bear to show up. And then we don't even need the jellyfish anymore. Like it's it's just existing as a unit. It's not existing as like, uh, you know, we're, we're not hanging our hopes and dreams on it. Well, this should be fun. Holy cow, we're going to win. Bear versus bear, bear wins. Write that down. Microbe. <laughs> I don't think microbe and bear synergize, unfortunately. Like, we could give everybody weakness, but then bear would just give everybody honey, including their units. It's fun to think about, but I don't think we want it. We got our own weirdness going on here. I don't think we're going Doberman. I think you could put a deer on the team just because it's a good unit. And then level three bear... On turn nine, if this pays out with a grizzly bear, like that's, we could have a complete ursine team. This couldn't have gone better. I, I say that not knowing whether we're gonna win, but it, yeah, it looked good, okay. Like as soon as we get a grizzly bear, I think we've got a, a, a unique sort of style popping off. That's not a grizzly bear. It is a scaler. Um, our order doesn't matter that much. It's just not my tempo right now. And we'll give you a, uh, a green pepper. The equipment plays a big role this week. Starting on, on tier 5. Like, the early equipments I don't think matter all that much. But once you get into the late game, there is an element of, like, whoever has the most green peppers wins. Now, this time, that did not play out like that, but that's okay. I always respect losing to a team with a leopard, because it's such a hard animal to get off the ground. Except in real life, strangely enough. I don't... Th it's too late for the jellyfish to be investable. You had your chance, Jellyfish. You, you really did. Freeze me. No Grizzly yet. We got enough HP. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I don't mind treating it like this. Because I really want to get a Grizzly next turn. But we could just spend three gold and we could get the penguin closer, but I still, I'm not even going to apologize for not taking the jellyfish. You le legitimately, you had your chance, okay? You had your chance. If you showed up earlier, I would have been, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the jellyfish. You, you, you try to show up after I've already built a new strategy, like, a, like an ex-lover who n realized they made a mistake. No, I say, get out of my house. 
we're actually winning this round. That's not good based on my economic use of the shop last time, but okay. We know we're going to be running a different unit here. We want the unit to be a grizzly bear. No chocolate? Freeze me. I really don't. Oh, thank you. So, okay, now we can do it. <laughs> Buy the chocolate. Sell a jellyfish. I'm sorry. You had your chance. Buy a cow. I would say, like, just feed your goose. Um, let the cow run, dude. And let's just separate these units so we're not breaking. I understand. Maybe we'd, oh, yeah, 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 we need it like, oh, we need it like that. Okay, fair enough. Because we want the bear to put honey on. Well, we really want the bear to put honey on three units. We don't, we don't want to override the goose green pepper because it's good. But we do want to override the, gre the goose green pepper because it would give us potentially an extra grizzly bear trigger. It's an interesting little ball of wax we got there. Either way, we're doing a lot of attacks. This went way better than I could have expected it to go. I'm realizing adding a slug would hit the spot too. How about sell me? Buy me. Sell me. Place me. Not my tempo this time, I think. Not bad, but not my tempo. Leopard is great at, at sniping some equipment, which might allow our grizzly bear to do more damage. I think maybe we would, like, run a crow first. Just so... Um, well, just so we can get the chocolate and maybe get our leopard to level two faster. The more equipment we're breaking, the better off we are, I'm sure. Okay, here's where the party starts. You really needed to hit the boar, but that's okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> one more, one more. Ooh! <laughs> Let's go! I'm gonna say... Buy me, sell me, buy me, buy me, freeze me. Okay, we'd love to see some more chocolate. I have no idea whether this team's going to go the distance. It's looked really good, but the teams that we start to go up against, the later the game gets, are very, very spooky. But I do think we're building a team that isn't just, like, good. I think we're building a team that beats teams. Like, we're, we're overriding equipment. That's, uh, like, we have... We're not just going, like, oh, this would be fun, this would be fun. Like, we're actually... So close. We're actually trying to, like, counterpick to an extent. Go ahead. I would, I would just double up on this one for now. Definitely would love level 3 Grizzly or level 2 Leopard next turn. We probably don't have a Grizzly badge, but I'm, I'm not, like... I'm not so concerned about that just yet. That's this team hard counters us to the extreme. <laughs> it's that's extremely painful. I'd like to say congratulations or whatever. Two scorpions, that's gotta hurt. And yes it did. I've forget these three threes. We need chocolate. I'm sorry to the penguin. We it 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 has to be done. I think that's our only way out. And honestly, with God as my witness, I think we need to... Basically, we're taking a dolphin to break um, one more piece of equipment, maybe. It, I don't think it did, but I, it's the thought that counts, maybe. Hang on, we're, we're getting through this one. Wait a minute, but they got the same thing. Go, wait, wait a minute! <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know, my bees, my bees, my bees... My bees, we're drawing. Okay, okay, we live to fight one more day. Sell me, buy me, sell me, leopard me. Tiger me. This one's gonna be tough, but I do think we have a chance. Our, it's, the problem is that we didn't invest in any scalers. We pr if we were going to have a likely shot, we would have liked it to have happened by now. That scorpion is going to... Oh, we overrode Death Touch, though. I don't think we got enough. I, don't, I know we don't have enough. Yeah, okay. Not quite that. We needed, like, a slug or something. 
But still, cooking around with eight wins on a Thursday, when, the, when people are at their, their competitive peak in this game, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It's a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!